I, 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 could have done, I would multiply. I, 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 you a snake, then you've been alive. I, 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 could have done. Hey, Tiger Lilies. It is, oops, Wednesday, August 1st. New month. Back to the regular scheduled program. I mean, I didn't stop working out while I was in Dallas, so I guess that's a good thing. I did take um, a day off when I got back because, y'all, that flight from Dallas was the absolute friggin' worst. The turbulence was ridiculous. The whole three-hour ride, everybody was throwing up. Like, my flight was at 9, and my mom and sister's flight was at, like, 7.40. So, we got a, we got up dumb early, so I didn't get to sleep. It was just a lot. So, I just had to give myself um, the day off. You gotta push yourself, even when you're tired, because I know me, and I know once I um, stop... And I just continue stopping and then the cycle kind of continues and then we're back to square one but I love Dallas I enjoyed Dallas I can't wait to go back you live in New York you gotta know how to parallel park do y'all know how to parallel park Oh my god, when I first learned how to parallel park, I was like, yo, this is bull in. Alright, folks, let's go to the gym. Yay! Uh, ooh, excuse me. Tiger Lilies! What is up? What is good? You know what it is. We off to the gym. So something happened today that glorious time of the month and I'm just curious to know how do you guys stay motivated um, when Aunt Mary comes when Aunt Mary comes to town what do you do do you stay in bed are you just like yo I ain't got the energy or the patience to even deal with this did I even wash my face fam who does that? Who goes to the gym and not wash their face up? Shame. Some people is only three days. Some people is five. I heard some people be having a whole friggin' two weeks. Like, Lord. Anytime Aunt Mary came, I was like, um, okay, I'm just gonna take it off. No. And then... I take it off and then it'll take me forever to go back. So this time we're doing things a little different because what we did before obviously is not working, right? We got to realize in life what works and what does not work for us and <laughs> me taking the lazy way out, honey, did not work for me. So. We're not going to be lazy about things. I just realized my life is built for me to work hard. And not work hard meaning like, oh my God, I got to bust my ass and everything I do else is not going to. Meaning that I need to be intentional with the things that I do. Which is a good thing. You know, some people can skate by life and everything is Gucci and some people get things handed to them and some people gotta go like all the way through it for things to like start to progress and some people just have to be consistent and thorough with everything that they're doing for them to see progress success whatever it is I kind of fall under under that last one which is not bad because when things do start to work out then you feel more of a sense of pride because you know what you did to get there why would you be honking when you see a school bus fam 
the school bus with the stop sign out is carrying a child on a wheelchair up there and you're honking like a bunch of idiots. Today's ab day. So that's why I have on my J sculpt. Usually on other days I have on my sweat vest. I'm a call of Ryan. I'm a face I'm lying. I'm a hit Lorenzo and I'm a leave you crying. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. I can play this game too. Hey guys, have you subscribed? Because you're always here. You might as well just click that subscribe button and be a part of the Tiger Lily squad. Gang, gang. People. Girl. Sis. It's 100 degrees outside. The devil is working honey i got a story for y'all is this ac too loud because it's hot all right y'all so we got a story time the devil is really trying to kill your sis like really trying to like he he working he is and he almost got me yesterday because normally i'm pretty i try to be positive when things happen in life i try to like have a lesson behind it and then learn from it and try my best not to can y'all see me if y'all can't see me i'm sorry try not to dwell on it but it was just throw the whole life away is how I felt yesterday. And when I tell y'all what happened, y'all gonna be like, oh shit, that's a bit dramatic. But it's like things upon things upon things that just keeps happening. And I just can't take it no more. Yesterday, I'm leaving for work. Mind you, I gotta be at work at 3 o'clock. So it takes me like 30, 35 minutes to get to work, but I have to find parking. So I leave a little bit earlier. I prayed, I meditated a little bit. I said how I wanted my day to go. I saw how my day was gonna go and it was going to go good. I walk outside, go to my car, and I see these like orange and white papers on my car. So I'm like, yo, why these people steady putting their junk mail on my car, fam? It ain't no junk mail, bruh. I had a boot on my car. Like, one thing I said once I got my new car, I said, I will never put myself in that situation again. I will make sure, even if I don't have nothing to eat, I will make sure that I pay my car on time. And we, I won't be one of them people with them boots on their car. Because to me, that shit is embarrassing. It is. I just didn't want to be under that category. And I'm not. So you ask. But Shay, if you're not, Chiquita Bonita, how did you get said boot on your car? I was sharing the car with someone. And in the beginning, that person used to use a car more than me. Because they were using it to work. I wasn't using my car to work. I would just get dropped off to work. And they would use, you know, they would get tickets. Because they probably ran a light and then they took the picture. Or stuff like that. So... After I used to pay them, but after a while, I'm just like, yo, why do I keep having to pay for tickets that I'm just not doing? But that's the thing in me, the people pleaser in me, don't want anybody upset, don't want anybody struggling. So I took care of it, knowing that I shouldn't. But if I don't take care of it, we're gonna have this this problem. 
which ultimately did happen. So there were other, there was a whole plethora of tickets, but me going in and out of employment, it was kind of hard for me to stay on top of paying them tickets. So a lot, a, uh, a few of them kind of were not paid for. Now the tickets that I've done, I paid for, or I haven't paid for yet, or something like that, because they're recent. They're like probably like two months ago or something like that. A ticket would start off at seventy-five dollars, but once you don't pay it and it keeps accumulating, it then turns to one eighty. And if it's more than one ticket with that same accumulation. It turns out to a whole bunch of dinero that said one person by the name of Essence of Shea does not have because not yet, I ain't Rihanna. I'm getting there, but right now I'm not her. My bank account, it doesn't have Rihanna Fendi on it or Robin Rihanna Fendi. You're mad close to my car. I just don't understand how y'all do stuff like that. <sighs> I'm just so irritated. So now I have this bill to pay. So I'm thinking, oh, because my mom was like, oh. Now, and that's why I partially blame myself, too, because one, I let this go on for too long. And two, my mom told me to, um, she said... Jesus, Jesus, like, come on, fam, come on, God damn, she said, call the people, road rage, I'm sorry, she said, call the people and see if you can work out some sort of payment plan so that, um, you know what I mean, because that's a lot of money, because at the time it was like $500, uh, so she's like, call them, see if you can work out a payment plan and whatnot. But I kept making like excuses upon excuses upon excuses. So I go outside yesterday to go take out my, um, to go to work and I see this boot on my car. So I'm pissed. So I call, um, New York Department of Finance and I ask, like, what are the steps? What can I do? Like, how much is owed? They tell me how much is owed is $835. I'm confused. How did a couple tickets turn into $800? Man said in a smug way, well, that's basically all you can do. Basically, I don't know what you're calling me for, boo. Because I ain't do this. So, it is what it is. And I'm just like, are there no other options? Then he proceeds to say, you have to pay this, but this is subject to change. So, it can be subject to go up higher. Or... Um, you can call somebody to set up a payment plan, but nine times out of ten, they're not going to do it for you. And also, your car is also subject to be towed because it's parked in front of a driveway. I said, it's in front of my driveway. He goes, well, by New York law, if you have a boot on your car and it's blocking someone's driveway or a curb, it's subject to getting towed. But so... Now I have to find a way to work. I have to come up with almost $900 in two hours. And <laughs> I have to do it in two hours because if not, they are going to take my car. And not only would I have to pay $835, but I will have to pay $135 for the towing company plus $35 each day that they have my car in storage. Meaning a big lot. Because they ain't put it in no goddamn storage. Now, I'm at work. I'm asking everybody if they have this, they have that. Everybody's telling me no. 
I'm already stressed out. I'm thinking I probably got a day. I could probably get get some money tomorrow. Borrow some money. My neighbor hits me up. Hey Shay, is everything okay? Because somebody just let me know that um your car just got towed away. And I'm like, what? I literally, literally just got off the phone with the people because they literally just put a boot on the car and already they towed my shit away? Fam, yo. So now I'm at work pissed the hell off and everybody's at work asking me like, Shay, are you good? Are you good? What's up? Because normally I'm goofy and da-da-da. And I'm like, yo, every time I try, I just feel like every time I try to do, put my foot in the right path and try to do things the right way. I'm not even trying to do things the right way. Do things the right way. Put myself, start putting myself in a better space for my future. St stupid shit like this happened. And shit, that's not even my fault. You feel me? Like that, I think that's what gets me even more like, come on, man. So anyways, I just wanted to just share my frustration with y'all because a lot of YouTubers come up in here and they're all happy-go-lucky and they show their trips and all these expensive purchases that they made and all this stuff, but they never talk about like the actual shit they gotta go through on a daily basis you feel me and i really like i really be going through it man and it's a lot man and i really spoke to my mom yesterday and i was like mom i'm just like over it life everything i'm just over it because it doesn't matter what i do what i do and all, it could be all good. I steady feel like things just keep happening in a negative way to just knock me down. And I'm just like, when will it give, man? I think they say think positive, manifest positive, you will get positive. And that's all I've been doing. And I just be went like I was crying all day yesterday because I just had enough. Every time something seems like it's going right, bada bing. I get punched in the face. Bada boo. And that was on top of it what makes it annoying is that you go through things and you're talking to people about it and they just be asking you some dumb questions that just would irritate the mess I like how is that gonna help me right now? This question that you're asking me, how is this helping me in this particular moment? Is it helping me get money to get my car out? Is it helping me get my car out? Like why are you asking me this right now? so you see i'm in my car so everything did work out the glory of god blessed me with two parents that even though they may not have it they found their way to get it i do have to pay them back duh because that's like, even if they didn't want me to pay them back i was going to but they did <laughs> um so my parents gave me uh, the money to pay for this. Shit happens. And like my friend um, was telling me, a lot of people, they want to run away from their feelings because they feel like if they think negative, then a bunch of thing, negative things going to happen. And they all, they just ignore their feelings for certain things and they just, just want to be positive 24-7. And just know go work through the pain work through whatever you're going through if you gotta cuss and all that stuff work through it and let it pass naturally but don't force it you're gonna you're suppressing it you're suppressing all them feelings down in you so what does that do for you in the long run nothing because eventually you'll probably be like me and you'll be mad happy most of the time because that's your natural thing but then something like your car being towed which is not a good thing but there's so much worse things but because because of that 
it'll cause you to explode. You get what I'm saying? And then people are like, okay, Shay, I understand it's your car, but you don't have to explode like that. But to me, to me, it's not just a car. To me, it's a plethora of things that just keep happening. Anyways, y'all, stay blessed. Don't stress. Life happens. And the key to it is to, like, just be one with your feelings let it happen let your feelings happen you got what i'm saying let that stuff happen and just like just release it and let it be once it's gone don't think about it anymore hey, yeah.